So let's continue to the admin area and uh, add the template that we have there. So before we go there, let me uh, show you a problem that we may have uh, at this point. So if you had closed your browser and your session has disappeared, you may find that you have a problem when you try to go to the admin page. So let's try and go to the admin page by just typing admin there. And this is what we see here. It says route login not defined. So what exactly is happening here? Because if I go to my web.php routes, you see that there's actually a login route right here, which is well defined. So what is wrong? Because what's happening here is that once we go to the admin, there is this oath here that is preventing us from accessing the admin page because we are not logged in at that time. But then what it tries to do is redirect to the login page. But then it finds that the login route is not defined. So that's why we get that. So what you need to do is name this uh, route here at the very end where we put the midware usually. Just put a name there like this and then you name it as login like so. I have no idea why we have to do this but uh, that's how it is. So name login like that. Uh, so far you only do this on the login page so that should work. Let's refresh the admin page now and it should redirect us to the login page. Okay, so that's the end of that. And then sometimes when you want to log in, you want the user to tick the remember me option there. So we can actually add that, which is not a problem. So let's see how we can include that in our system. So I'm going to go to my view so I can add it as part of the uh, of the inputs here. So I'll go to login.blade and then right at the bottom here, uh, right before the button, let me just add, I'm just going to add a label and the label is remember me. Remember me, like so. But we need an input here, so let me just put, okay, let me just put the input here like so. We say input of type checkbox. And then the name is uh, remember. Like that. And then um, I need to give it an ID so I can match that label to it. So say ID. Mm, remem, mem, ba. and then this label here so I can say for, for remember. Okay, like that. That way they are connected together. And then I want to put a class on um, the input. I will say, um, let's see here, form. Check input. I don't know if this is a real class from um, Bootstrap. I think it actually is. Let me see how this looks. Okay, so the text is down there. Mm, not really ideal for what I want. Let me put this inside a uh, a div. So I'm just going to put a div, oops, and then put a class of uh, form group like this and move this here. I don't want this to take too long on the styling. Okay, so we have remember me there and I want it to be inline so let's see form group 
Should I put inline here? Does that work? Let's see. Hmm. Didn't do much. Okay, so I think this should be a form check. Form check. Let me move this class here as well. And then put label on this one, like so. Okay, so that should do it. So let's come back here and check again. Okay, so it doesn't seem to change anything. So I think the problem is that we have styles here that are interfering with this. So let me see here. I have form input. So maybe what I can do is change this one to a style. I'll say dot input like that. And then come down here and put a class on these two guys. So I'll say class input like that. This will leave this other input alone for more styling. So let's refresh. Okay, there we go. That actually worked. So you can style it as you want, but the point is if we tick this, it should remember the user. So how do we implement that in the controller? So let's go to our controller. That's the login controller. And right in here where we are doing the validation. So validate, and then we can put a comma and then put the remember me value. So here we will put, um, let's see, uh, I'll put request like so, and then I will put input and I will say remember like that. So whatever the value is here, it, it's either going to be true or false. So I think so. Yeah, it's either going to be true or false. So if it exists, if it's ticked, it's going to exist. If it isn't, it's not going to exist. So maybe this isn't a good idea. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say Uh, because it's very possible that uh, let's just try it for now I'll leave it uh, at that and let me come back here and refresh the page let me remove that let's see if we get any errors shall we so I'm just going to say now uh, the email here is this one and then the password like so. Okay. So let me tick this and let's do the login. Okay. So wrong email and password. Let's tick that login. Okay. So we are logged in. Now we can know if this worked, if we have a remember token in here. So let's check for the, uh, the thing here and refresh the page. Okay, so we do have a remember token. That means we're going to be remembered. That's good. What I just want to know is if I log in and um, will it cause errors or not? But we can try that on the next try. What we want to do now is just finish up with the admin area and put the new view. So let me come back here. Uh, we can come back to this later if we get any problems. So let me again come to the admin.blade.php. So this is what we have so far, but we need to change this because we're going to have a different template that will be running here. And so open up your uh, the downloaded template. And then this is the folder once you extract everything. So we have the assets folder and we have these uh, uh, elements. Now, the one that I want is the blank page. So the blank page here is, if I right click here and open this with my browser, this is what I get. So there's the dashboard, which has all this, which we will use. And then there's the UI elements, and then there's the blank page.
So for now, I just want us to get the blank page. So that's what we're going to use for the admin area. So I will open that again, drag this into my uh, text editor, drop it in here. Very good. So what I will do is create different headers and footers for this area here. So I'm going to right click on admin and create new file, save this. And this is going to be the header, but this is the header for the admin section. So header.blade.php, right click, new file, save footer.blade.php. Okay, that is all good. And then now I can come back to my uh, admin.blade. First, let me come to the blank page here and let's see what we can salvage from here. Uh, there's the header section up to here. And then there's the side area here, which ends somewhere here. And then there's the actual page. So what I want to do is capture, let's see here, this is the, um, logout so what part says logout here so logout is over there so that's all part of the header up to where it says dashboard so let's see uh, this is all part of the header and then top nav ends here okay so from here where it says top nav to the top we will actually this is my html so i'm just going to copy and put that inside the header, save. And then I will go back to the blank. And let's go to the footer here, ID footer. And let's get everything else down here. Copy, put in the footer, save. So we have header, we have footer and let's come back to the middle so let's get all this in the middle here uh, we have a nav bar here actually top nav up to here copy and see the header head ends here where it says top nav so that's okay let's come to the admin itself here and then i will paste everything here like so but now this is the sidebar from here to the bottom so the navbar ends there so i will cut all this save here create a new file paste save this and then just say a uh, sidebar dot blade dot php Okay, good. Now all we need to do is go to the admin section here and just include everything we need to include. So say include, in here this one will be the uh, header. Now it's not just header, it's admin.header, like so, and then copy that. admin.footer and then we have the sidebar here sidebar like so okay great so now if I come back here and let's try to reload this let's see if things actually load well, they do load, but uh, the styles are not correct. So not to fear, let's go back to the folder, copy the assets, because the assets folder has all this, the JavaScript and everything. So just copy those assets there. And let's come back here and let's go to the containing folder, which is inside the public. So we do have an assets folder here. Let's open this 
uh, let me just do this open containing folder so we have an assets folder here but it has the similar items CSS fonts etc so instead of assets let's create a new folder maybe let's go in here and just create a new folder called admin in there okay and then let's paste everything inside there so I put it inside assets again so let me just cut it from there so that it's directly inside the admin folder let's delete that assets folder okay so now it's public assets admin and then our CSS so no biggie there all we need to do now is uh, change our URLs so I will go to the header dot blade here so I want to change all these guys so these assets uh, bootstrap yes so what I will do is select all this and let me do that double curly brace and then put that inside um, brackets and then single quotes like so and then outside the bracket here I'll say URL like this and then now instead of uh, these assets but then these admin here so admin oh actually there was assets in there hmm which is fine I'll just put slash admin like so it should work okay great so let me copy all this up to there and do the same thing here replace the assets and the slash like that and paste okay and then I will close out this other side copy that and paste like so okay for now that's all I need I just want to see if the CSS will actually show so refresh and there we go we see the CSS has changed so everything is awesome except the images of course so let's go back and fix that as well so to fix that we just look for the sources actually there are a few images only here so no problem let me just add this last part here and here I will do that URL single quote like that and then assets slash admin like so okay that should find the image here refresh and there we go okay so looking good everything is fine let's go to the footer and make sure everything is good as well on the other side so same thing here I will select the assets move a step forward write admin slash and then go backward I will put my braces URL bracket single quote like that and then move to the other side okay so these are no longer aligned let me select them individually single quote close bracket double curly bracket like that okay very good so all links should go through this similar process we are not going to be using this link anyway so we'll just forget about it for now so save that and come back and now let's refresh okay so everything seems fine now if I click on these obviously uh, things will not be clickable but uh, let's fix that in the next video